Notice where you feel your breathing. And settle in right there. And from that spot, expand your mind. Think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill for yourself, goodwill for all beings. Remember that the two are connected. There was a time, one time when the Buddha was on his arm round, and he saw some little boys beating a snake with a stick. And he asked them, do you dislike pain? And they said, yes. And well, why are you causing pain to others? If you really love yourself and you love pleasure, you don't cause pain to others. Very basic principle. It's such a basic principle that people tend to overlook it. But it underlies a lot of the practice. That if you really care about yourself, you have to be careful about how you treat other people. The Buddha had to teach the same lesson to kings. It's just as you love yourself, and there's nobody else in the world that you love more than yourself. Everybody else loves themselves just as fiercely. So if you dislike pain, why do you give them pain? And if you do give them pain, they're not going to be happy about what pleasure you get that's causing them pain. It's not, so your pleasure is not going to last. So your true well-being lies in treating other people well as well. And of course, if you develop the mind, that's good for other people too. The Buddha is looking for a happiness, a, a sense of well-being that's not confined just to one person and that doesn't cause trouble to others. In other words, he's not saying that you look after the happiness of others and make yourself miserable in the meantime. You do good, you benefit, the other people benefit. You have to look at it that way. The opportunity to be generous, to be virtuous, to meditate. These are the openings to happiness that causes no harm. A happiness that doesn't create boundaries. We see so much partisanship and divisions in the society around us. It's good to remind ourselves that there are ways that you can erase some of those boundaries. You may not be able to erase the big ones in society, but just start with the ones that are right around you. by looking for happiness in a harmless way. That makes life a lot more livable. So goodwill for yourself, goodwill for others. And remember, there's no conflict. Just be very clear about what it means to show goodwill to yourself. You act in skillful ways. Goodwill for others means you hope that they will act in skillful ways. And you're happy to help them in whatever way you can in that direction. It doesn't mean worrying about hurting their feelings, although you don't want to hurt people's feelings unnecessarily. But it also means that you look at your own feelings and learn how to take care of them. have a real sense of what genuine harm is and what genuine well-being is, it makes it a lot easier to live with one another. <laughs>